This paper is an additional mathematics paper 2 of variant 2 2. It's from the year 2011 and session was May June. For the IGCC students, the code for this paper was uh, 0606 22. For GC O level students, the code was 4037 22. That means both GC O level and IGCC students had this exact same paper on same date same time. Now let's go to the formula page. The first step of this page contains the algebraic formula. The first formula that is x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a is the solution of the quadratic equation. The second one that is a plus b whole to the power n this is the binomial expansion theorem and here this factorial n divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial is known as ncr. Now let's go to the second half of the page. Here we have a formula from trigonometry. At first we have three identities. This one is the relationship between sine a and cosine a. And this one is the relationship between sec a and tan a. And this one is the relationship between cosec a and cot a. And then we have three other formulae about a triangle ABC, which is a not which is not a right angle triangle. Let me draw a triangle. Okay, now let's put the value A, B, C. Let's uh, define the opposite B C the length of B C as small a. The length of AC is small b and the length of AB as small c. Then we have a formula known as sine rule about this triangle. Then we have another formula which is called cosine rule of this triangle. And last but not least we have the formula to find the area of the triangle ABC using the length and the angle. Now let's move on to the question 1 and start solving the paper. This question is from topic calculus where we have to differentiate of uh, y equals to sine 3x and then we have to use the derivative to find the approximate changes in y. So let's st start. Uh, let's write y equals to sine 3x. Now uh, let's differentiate both sides with respect to x. So in, in our left hand side we get d over dx of y and in our right hand side we get d over dx of sine 3x. So in the next line we can write do, dy over dx equals to uh, the derivative of sine x is cos x therefore derivative of sine 3x would be cos 3x. But this term will be multiplied by uh, the term multiplied by d over dx of 3x. Why did we write this? Because of chain rule of differentiation. What was the chain rule? Let me show you. The chain rule, if we had a term sine ax, then d over dx of sine ax, where a is the coefficient of x other than 1, we have to write cos ax times d over dx of a times x. Now uh, let me erase this so that we can write over there. Uh, so, yeah. Now so our dy over dx would be so dy over dx should be uh, ddx so d over dx of 3x is 3. So 3 times cos 3x. So the first part of this question 1 is done. Now for the second part of the question, we need to find the approximate change or increase in y as x increases from the value pi by 9 to value pi by 9 plus p where p is very very small. <laughs> so 
let's begin. Uh, we know that for a very small change of x, the rate of change of y with respect to x, that is del y over del x is equivalent to dy over dx. So let's multiply this with uh, del x. So in the next line we can write del y is equivalent to dy over dx times del x. Now we need to find the value of dy over dx and del x to get the small increase or approximate increase in y. So let's find del x first. So del x equals to uh, pi by 9 plus p minus pi by 9 which is p. So we, we got del x is equals to p. Now we need to find dy over dx when x equals to pi by 9. So let's write when x equals to pi by 9 at that time uh, dy over dx should be uh, 3 times cos uh, 3 times pi by 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we can write in the next line uh, dy over dx equals to 3 times cos pi by 3 but cos pi by 3 is half so we can write 3 times half which is 1.5 so using the using these two values we can write uh, the approximate change in y that is the in approximate increase in y is 1.5 times p which is that means our del x equals to 1.5 so question one is done so now uh, let's move on to the uh, question two